There's been a move in the Defense Department to adopt some electric vehicle technology for certain applications. But this is a armored Chevy truck. It actually has layers of armor, but it's, it runs a, as an electric vehicle, but it also has a diesel generator. You know, you have to artificially pipe in noise, backup noise when an EV is going because it's so quiet. But when you look at it for that application, it's it's a plus. Like yeah, You can go into silent mode with that thing. That's That's great. Hi, I'm David with EV World News. I'm here today with our Wednesday co-host, Mike Herzog, who's our resident engineer. How's it going, Mike? Doing good, David. Reporting from the, the home studio today. So I, I want to start out today with, with, with an interesting offering from General Motors for the Defense Department. So they've made a prototype vehicle because there's been a move in the Defense Department to adopt some electric vehicle technology for certain applications. This is actually pretty sharp and futuristic looking. This is a Chevy Silverado ZR2 is essentially what it is. It looks pretty awesome. I'm sure for military standards, you know how the army has an expression, embrace the suck. I'm sure they're making it as discomfortable as possible or uncomfortable as possible. But you can, you can easily see where you could mount a machine gun on the top of the cab. You know, there's plenty of room there for mounting ordnance on top of the cab. But this is a armored Chevy truck. It actually has layers of armor, but it's a Chevy Silverado 2500 ZR2. But what's interesting is this is a, it runs a, as an electric vehicle, but it also has a diesel generator. Cool. Yeah. So it's got two electric motors, one on each axle, a 12 module battery pack wired up. A 2.8 liter Duramax turbo diesel keeps the batteries juiced making this basically a military-grade Chevy Volt. GM didn't provide any power specs, but it'll haul the armored body, six passengers, and all the gear that my military personnel might need. I follow a lot of government contracting and opportunities out there, and mission sustainability is huge. And looking at innovative approaches and from an energy standpoint, and you think about them logistically and the cost of getting fuel to remote operations and bases uh, is staggering. So, I mean, if you could have one of these, have a little solar setup, have some micro wind turbines and basically be powering your vehicles uh, for renewables, there's just from a mission security standpoint, even even aside from from the cost of and logistics of getting fuels there, it's it's a big deal. They're looking at it really hard. So they, they don't give us any specs on the range with the diesel, the range of just the battery alone, and all that. I'm gonna j let's just assume it's kind of like the Ram 1500 REV that's got the 150 mile battery pack that has the gas generator. So this one has a diesel generator. This is designed to use the regular diesel that the military hauls around for all their other vehicles to make it easy to use. When there's a couple things that are really cool about this. So for starters, it's hard, hard to detect because in silent drive mode, it cuts the diesel engine, relies only on battery power, so it doesn't have a heat signature, okay? So there's no heat signature and it's quiet. It's hard to detect with thermal imaging. It didn't provide specs for how long it can operate without the diesel engine running, but I guess that isn't information we need to know. It, that, that's funny, that that silent aspect of it, where it's, you know, you have to artificially pipe in noise, backup noise when an EV is going because it's so quiet. But when you look at it for that application, it's it's a plus. Like, yeah, you can go into silent mode with that thing. That's That's great. Yeah, so as they've discovered in the war currently in Ukraine, Ukraine has extensively used e-bikes. And they found that just being able to be silent around the battlefield has its own inherent advantages, that and the thermal imaging, you know, so people aren't seeing the engine just light up in the middle of the night. What's interesting is this thing is also uh, can be automated, so it's ready for unmanned operation as well. It's got a few features you'd have in a normal car, like any lock brakes, stability control, 360 degree camera system, has armor add-ons. You can just, you know, in the article, it's kind of funny. It's saying, okay, we'll take the frag grenade resistant underbody kit and we'll... Uh, yeah, the website and pin you yeah. want the undercoating with yeah. that. And would you like the 50 cal uh, machine gun mount and yeah. uh, Apple CarPlay? And, uh, <laughs> yeah. It's pretty funny. It's like you definitely need, we need the Apple CarPlay. But but I thought, you know, that, that, that was kind of cool. I, I like... 
efficiency and stuff like that. And because you always think about, it's like, well, where are you going to charge that EV out in the field? Well, this basically gets the the best of both worlds, and that it's you know, like you're saying, they they could have some solar panels out there. But realistically, if you had solar and you had the thing sitting all day under some kind of solar panel, it's going to charge up like ten miles. It's not going. No, it's not. It, it's not unless unless you had like. A huge. When I say that, that would be if you only covered the top of the truck. Now, if you had something that was like five times the size of the truck, yeah, you'd probably put fifty miles on there a day. Hey, I'm talking more. Um, they're looking a lot of like forward operation bases and energy resilience for those and what it looks like. Just just knowing how how much of a target the grid is. Um, so especially in foreign countries and in conflict zones, it's hey, we have a forward operating base like. We want to be able to unfold a bunch of solar panels and power the base um, and, and do things like that. So it's no, it's not like, you know, cover, <laughs> covering the armor with solar panels uh, just to make it extra reflect. It's, it's more, hey, you have a Ford operating base. You're, you're still covering something new as well or, or another, another element of your energy needs potentially with that rather than having to maybe truck in as much diesel. I don't know. It's it's cool. I mean, it's it's a sharp looking vehicle. I like the way it looks for sure. I mean, that's um, you could see that it's got that that Hummer type feel to it. Or oh, it definitely does. It definitely does. It looks it looked very futuristic. Hi, I'm David with EV World News. If you like this video, then please press the like button. If you like the content and would like to see more videos on electric vehicles, then please hit the subscribe button. If you have some feedback for us? Please let us know in the comments. Have a great day.